What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon53. Man, I'm back again. I'm back again. Boy, I got some good news yesterday. I got some good news yesterday. I ain't gonna jump the gun with it, though. I ain't gonna jump the gun. I, I know I'm in good hands. I ain't gonna jump the gun with it, though. But y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned, man. Uh... uh. It's coming up. I don't want to be too hasty, you know. Beard kind of ragged. I'm kind of messed up. You know, that's okay. But anyway, look. I don't like them glasses. Man, look, this is a story that happened a few, uh, about, about four and a half years ago. Now, listen, hold on. Y'all see this? <laughs> Y'all see this? I done had people tell me, tell me that I was bald headed <laughs> or when a couple of times, a few times when, when they do get a chance to see it, see it out, they be like, man, Toon, man, you got a wig on, <laughs> a wig, man, cut it out. I got hair on me, long hair. It's just all the time. It's like this. It's always like this, so a lot of times y'all don't get to see it. But no, I don't have no wig on. No, I don't have no weave on. Anyway, this story circles around this situation. Almost almost got put into a a, a real volatile situation, y'all. Man, uh, back in about 2019, I was doing security at a club. Of course, you know, I was doing a lot of security myself back then. And so, um, me, uh, me just doing security, just, you know, I hadn't been out too long. I, I got out, I got out, I'd been out maybe about a year, maybe about a year or so. But anyway, so look here, um, I'm doing security at this club. My hair was real short at the time. You know what I'm saying? Cause now when I was in, I was in prison, I wore a bald head. But when I got out, my wife told me she didn't like how the bald head made me look. She said it made me look sinister. So she wanted me to grow my hair. So I had just started to let my hair grow, and it was growing. It was doing what it do. My hair grow pretty fast. That's that black foot in me, you know? But anyway, so I had I had hair about maybe about that long at the time. And it wasn't dreaded up or wasn't anything like that. It was just hair, you know what I'm saying? Regular hair. Anyway, so now... Uh, I had a bright idea. You know, okay. I had a bright idea across my mind to go ahead and get me some um some hair at it. You know what I'm saying? The fake dreads. So you know, I was talking to my partner. My partner said, "Man, I know a I know a girl who get down like that. She pretty good." I'm like, "For real?" He like, "Yeah." So I talked to her, and she was like, "Yeah, we can make it look this way." African girl, but she was a red bone, no real pretty. And um, she was like, yeah, I know how to do it. I know how to do it. I'm like, okay. So now look, all this is new to me, homie. I'm just getting out after doing 23 years straight. Um, I'm finna try something. I'm, that's all it was. I'm finna try something. That's what I was finna do. I'm trying something. So now when I got out to the, when I got to the shop, little spot out there, center point, uh, the female, she wanted to do it with yarn. Which I'd never heard of that yarn, yarn for hair. So I'm like, dang. So she showed me a couple of pictures of, of dudes and females that she had done. I'm like, all right, it looked real. It looked real. You know, I, my, I, 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 I can get this a shot. So she did it. She hooked me up. You know what I'm saying? When I, you know, everybody running around had long dreads and this and that. And I had never really tripped the dread thing before. Never, 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 never. I've always was known back in the day for long braids and regular hair or jerry curl or whatever, but not long dread. So, you know, hey, it's time moving on. So, oh, girl, get down. She she do her thug thizzle. She, you know, boom, it's about shoulder length. And I pay her, and it's cool. Now, remember, I'm doing security at the club, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing security at the club. Now, the, the, and you got you to gotta look. At the time, I don't know a lot of people in Alabama. You know, I'm just getting out. I'm not from here. So, like I say, when I got popped, I was only here a couple of hours, got popped. So it ain't like I got family, friends, or loved ones running all over the city at that time. 
I didn't. So boom, uh, I'm just really kind of winging it. You know, a few little partners that I had, my partner who got me the job and a few other little partners I had was there, but boom. So look, it was some nice little females running around. It was one particular female that I had really kind of set my sights on. She was a bad, she was a boss little old female too at the time. And I wasn't married. I hadn't, I hadn't gotten married yet. And so I'm like, you know what? Get at her the first chance I get. So I know that, you know, she kind of looking at me. You know, I'm, fr I'm fresh out of prison. You know what I'm saying? On swole, looking like some at the time. Um, but we never, we had never really, really spoke to each other. So now here it is. I done went and got my hair done. I done went and got this, this uh, yarn stuff put into my head. Uh, looking back at it now on hindsight, that's something that I would never, ever do again. But now, you know, Hey, my brain was goofy at the time. I'm just, like I said, I'm just getting out to prison trying to, you know, keep up with the Joneses. I want me some long dreads. So I did, I did my thing. Um, I never forget, man, that night I went to work, I went to work and I'm holding it down. And I'm quite, and I'm quite sure it was a lot of people there that noticed the overnight difference, but just didn't really say none. A lot of, most of them didn't know me. A lot of them, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, what's going to be no, no questioning or ridicule from these people. You know, I'm the car and you know, they look like, dang, you know, you know, where you get all that hair from? You know, when he, when he get long dreads, you know, so cool. It looked it real. Oh, it looked it so real. You couldn't tell, uh, it was some fabricated material. It just, you might, you might've thought it was some human hair and I just got hooked up. That's it. You know, man, I never, it's a back part of the club that's kind of fenced off and it's a patio and it's fenced off and people can sit back there. Cause you come through the door, pool table and all that. Then you go on to where the bar is, then the dance floor. All right, cool. So look, people sitting back there. Um, matter of fact, they barbecuing, they selling plates and they doing their thing. You know, y'all know how I go. All right, cool. So look, the female that I kind of been eyeing, she's sitting out there too. So I'm out, I'm, I'm out there and I'm talking to one of my partners. Boom, 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 boom. Now it's a dude, he, he, I can't say he worked for the club, but I'm knowing he's tight partners with the owner of the club. So he's always hanging around, always hanging around. And, and I'm talking about the dude wasn't no bigger than a gnat. He might've been about, he might have been about five foot seven at the most and made weigh to probably about 150 pounds, if that. You know? But now the heaviest, the heaviest thing on him was the long dreads that he had. I'm talking he had long dreads going down his back. You know, I'm talking about long, long dreads. And um he took pride in them. He took pride in them. That you know, that was his thing. He took pride in his dreads. Ain't no thing. Um in a million years, I never would have thought I was going to catch, I was going to have problems out this little dude. So he walking by me and he see me. Now he know I'm security. He didn't see me working security in his club. And he stopped. He looked. He like, no, boy, what the F? No, what the what? So I'm looking at him. I'm knowing what he's talking about. But now, I'm, I, I, but I wish he would go ahead on about his business. Because now he causing the scene. He bringing attention to me. I ain't with it. I'm sitting there talking to the homie, though. So he like, man, what the F you got? You, man, you didn't have no hair yesterday. You didn't have the hair like that yesterday. And now he got other people looking. I'm like, Shh, man, what? So in my mind, I'm like, man, fool, go ahead on, man. You tripping. Tripping. I don't even know you, uh, 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 little dude. So he like, man, but, and, and from there, he go in. He go in, y'all. He start clowning, cracking jokes. And all type of stuff. Now I'm trying to take it with I'm taking I'm trying to take it with a smile at first, take it with a grain of salt. But I ain't one for all this clowning, especially from somebody I don't know. Man, I don't know you, period. You don't know me. And you clowning like this right here? Come on, homie. You don't know who you talking to. But he go in. He go in. He go in. And he woo woo woo. Why, 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 why? So I tell him, I'm like, hey, check this out, cuz. Look here, man. You just said all you can say, homie. You know, raise up off that, homie. I don't even know you, cause I don't do. I ain't with all this playing and whatever you call yourself doing, joking or whatever. Man, miss me with that. Now he, now he like what? He get offended. I'm already offended. Now he get offended. So he go to popping off a little bit. So I'm like, wait a minute, hold up, what? You pop? So I'm like, cuz man, listen. 
I got the heat in the car. I tell, I tell, I tell the homie, I'm like, cuz, man, I'm finna knock this little fool out. I'm finna knock him out. So the homie like, cuz, man, he might be heated. He might got a gun. He might got a gun. Well, I man, look, if he got one, he better know how to use it. Cause if I get up on him, I'ma take it from him and I'ma beat the dreads off the top of his head. I don't know, cuz it fool playing with me like that. So now, the dude mad, the dude, he done went through the club, he's circling, he walking past, he know he walking around my perimeter, looking at me crazy, he looking, he looking, he looking, so I'm looking at him, so I done made my mind up, hey man, this, this little dude right here, I'm finna serve him quite well, he keep playing with me, I ain't nothing to play with, I ain't no joke, I ain't no toy, I ain't got no family members named Mattel, you know, so, um, the dude like, man, um, you spooking me, you spooking me. I'm looking at him, I'm like, you spooking me. I'm like, cuz, if I'm spooking you, fool, raise up then. Quit playing with me, boy. I don't know you. You don't know me. So the dude like, man, anybody playing with you? Ain't nobody playing with you? Woo, 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 I So I'm telling him, I'm like, yeah, all right, boy. So the dude, he he he's still circling. He's still circling. So I tell I tell, I tell my partner, I say, cuz, go get my heat out the car. I said, bring me my heat. He's like, man, you going you gonna to shoot him too? And I'm like, nah, if I'm not if I don't have to. I said, man, I beat that little fool up. I say, but now, look, that little, man, that fool, that small, talking crazy like that, he got to be heated, homie. I say, you know, I'm not finna play with him. I'm finna meet him on, uh, on whatever aggression level he has. I'm finna meet him on that. If he want to thump, we can thump. If he want to stab, we can stab. If he want to shoot, we can shoot. But I'm going to meet him on whatever level of aggression he's coming with. Because he's starting this, not me. So homie like, all right, cuz, all right, cuz. So he go get the heat. So when I come back with, so when he come back, and give me the heat. Uh, I uh, the little dude, I don't know where he at, but now somehow, some way, word got back to the owner. The word it got back to the owner. So the owner come find me. He like, too, man, let me holler at you, man. I'm like, man, what's up, I'm So he asked me about the situation and boom, 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 boom. I'm, I'm like, yeah. I say, man, you know that little dude? I say, you. He like, yeah, that's my little partner, man. He, you know, he here all the time. I say, yeah, I see him all the time. But me and him ain't never had no uh, interaction like that. I say the fool want to clown me about uh, 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 about the, about the uh, the little stuff I got in my hair. I said, man, I don't do no clowning and playing like that with nobody at all. Period. So he like, man, I'm gonna talk to him. Man, let me talk. Let me. I said, go ahead and talk to him. I say, hopefully he gonna listen to you for tonight in real bad. He like, I got you. I got you. So he go talk to him. He go talk to him. So now me and old boy. He go his way, I'm going my way. We never had another run in. Time goes on, time goes on. Um, he end up, the same dude end up getting shot up about a year, about a year and a half later with another dude. They got he, they shot him up real bad. Boom, 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 boom. Um, he was in the wheelchair for a long time. Then when he come up out the wheelchair, he was um he was kind of paralyzed. He was kind of, he walked it real funny. He walked it real funny. You know what I'm saying? Now, what he had got shot up about, I don't know. Him and another dude that he was running with, they had words with somebody somewhere, somehow, and they got into it real bad. And whoever it was they got into it with was about that gunplay on the runway and gave it to him in a real way. So, um, old boy was, like I say, he was, he was hit up real bad. Um, I seen him years later. I ran into him again years later in a, in a restaurant that a partner of mine owned and where we used to hang out at. He was up there. I didn't recognize him at first. I didn't know who he was. Um, I knew he looked familiar to me, but I couldn't place who this little dude was right here until he walked up to me, he walked up to me, you know, stumbling kind of, you know, he stumbling, uh, stumbling kind of bad from them bullets and bullets that shifted them bones up in him a little bit. So he like, yeah, man, uh, he seen, you know, he he had been watching me. So he seen how I'm interacting with everybody else around. He like, oh, you know, shoot. Yeah. Basically he seen I'm in, you know, I was cool, you know? So he, he finally come to me like, man, what's up, big man? What's up? I'm like, shoot, man, what's up? Cause what's up? I'm, you, you, you know, uh. he said, you don't even remember. I'm like, no, no, no. So he reminded me about the incident we had at the club years prior. I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember you now. I say, man, that was a wild night. He like, yeah. He say, look, homie, um, I want to apologize to you, man. He say, look, uh, I didn't know who you were at the time. Now, to be 100% honest with you, uh, 
based off the conversation that we had after that, while we was talking right then, when he said, I didn't know who you were. Like I say, based off that conversation, he had messed around and I ain't going to say did his homework on me or um, he went to talk to some people who might have knew me or knew of me, might have been in prison with me or whatever, whatever, whatever. But however it happened, he had a, he talked to some people who know who knew me or who know me, you know what I'm saying? And um, they, I guess they let them know the the status that I had or the level that I was on. You know what I'm saying? Cool, dude. I'm cool. I don't bother nobody, but I ain't finna be bothered with neither. You know? And uh, so he was just telling me that he like, man, if I'd have known that night, man, blah 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 blah. So it made me to wonder. I wonder who. I wonder who he talked to. I wonder what they told him. You know what I'm saying? Didn't know. Didn't know. But it was all cool. I seen him a few times after that. It was all good. You know, misunderstanding. I've been through situations like that in the pen where I've seen people um uh clowning me not clowning me but me clowning people and dudes just wasn't with it you know what i mean but now you know me being hard-headed not care i don't care if you with it or not i'm clowning you because you got you look stupid to me so i'm saying something and sometimes it turned into some sometimes it didn't and i've seen other dudes be put in that same trick bag to where bang they done got caught up messing with somebody talking crazy probably drunk clowning and it and it went bad for them but anyway I'm glad that situation turned out well. That's just a little situation I had uh, when I was doing security back in the day, man. And the reason what brought it up is I had somebody say to me, one of my partners yesterday, he was over at the house, and um, I had took I had took uh, the headband off to do something, and when my hair fell, he's like, man, you got all that that weave. I said, come weave in my head, fool. What you talking about? I said, I got a hundred dollars. You find it. Anything in my head that don't belong to me, and he trip. He like, oh, all right. he say you always keep it up. I'm like, yeah. I, I say it irritates me, bothers me. I don't, I don't like it in my face, nor do I like it all up and down my neck. But anyway, look, like I say, that situation turned out good, and it was cool. In the meantime, between time, homie, tell the people that you love, you love them. Keep your head on the swivel, and don't never forget, homie. I represent the gangsters, homie, the Avalon gangsters. I'm out. Peace.